Dear YouTube, I love you. I'm in no way advocating the use of illegal substances. This video is intended for informational purposes only. Kisses and hugs. Kuchi. One downside of my brain is that once an idea has stuck in it, it's pretty hard to get it out. Since making a video about castration and its effects on your body, then the video if your balls can break and finding out that it's actually possible, now my dear subscribers want to know what happens if we inject steroids in our balls. <laughs> For everyone that knows me in real life, like friends, family or colleagues, I want to apologize in advance. By making this video, I officially sold my soul to the devil. Just know that YouTube made me do it. Here's what happens if you inject steroids in your balls. The complex anatomy of the ball sack we had the pleasure to analyze in a previous video, with a thin layer of muscles underneath soft skin and the testicles just below the muscles, offers little to no protection with a lot of potential for pain. The act of injection is putting a liquid into a person's body using a needle and a syringe. Usually depending on the angle of the syringe and needle, there are different types of injections. Intramuscular, subcutaneous, intravenous and intradermal. To fully define what would happen if we'd inject testosterone in our balls, we'd first have to define how deep we would inject it. Generally, testosterone is always used for intramuscular injections, that's why it often gets put into the quadria. The reason being, if enough testosterone would get into a vein, it could be detrimental to the health of the drug user, leading to a pulmonary embolism. As there are only very thin muscle groups in the scrotum, it's likely that we won't hit those. There's a new trend where there are Botox injections into the balls to make them look nicer. Apparently, an injection in the avocado sac in itself is nearly pain-free. <laughs> What will most likely happen if you've ever decided to add some extra testosterone to your nuts, which I don't recommend, please don't block me YouTube, is that you would either hit the testicles itself or the testicle artery around it. There are no real medical papers or case reports on such incident, and trust me, I search a lot. You know something is rare if even cocaine addicts don't do it. So this is just a basic medical guess. What exactly would happen if you injected testosterone directly into the testicle? But injecting in the skin around the ball sack would probably result in little to no pain, hitting the testicles directly and dumping the load <coughs> meaning testosterone will cause nearly unbearable pain as the scrotum is linked with the vagus nerve. After the inflammation of the surrounding tissue to the foreign all based solution called testosterone that just came out of a syringe, there are two possible outcomes also depending on the amount. Number one. Testosterone would trickle into the bloodstream getting transported back to the lung and to the heart. This could be life-threatening and could lead, as seen before, to a lung embolism. Number 2. I don't think that the testers would simply accept this foreign testosterone directly injected into them. While a certain amount might be accepted by the tissue, it would more likely lead to a repulsion of the injected fluid. As we've seen in injection of mineral oils in genital area, which there are plenty of medical papers available, this could lead to deformities and severe infections. But there are numerous cases of foreign substances like baby oil and petroleum injected in the scrotum and penis, few people seem to be crazy enough to inject anything directly into the testes. One of the reasons might be that the skin is pain free, but the testes will induce extreme pain. Gentle self-harm is rare and affects people with schizophrenia, affective psychosis, alcohol intoxication and personality disorders. If this video needs to have one conclusion, it is to know that our main purpose of life seems to be to generate offspring. That's why self-injurious behavior in the genital area is usually only common in heavy drug abuse and psychological disorders. So most importantly, don't do drugs kids and subscribe to this channel.